Amy has 25%. Okay, we're going to change it to one quarter of the number of stamps Beatrice has. So I'm going to write it down in a ratio. Amy is to Beatrice. 1 is to 4. After Beatrice gives Amy 48 stamps, so it's an internal transfer, right? Beatrice gives to Amy. So that means the total is unchanged. Amy has 3 quarter of the number of stamps Beatrice has. So your before ratio and your after ratio. Okay, so um, Amy has 75%. That means Amy is to Beatrice. 3 is to 4. So the total is unchanged. The concept is total unchanged. How do I know? So whether it is a total unchanged question or single subject unchanged or different unchanged question, the clue is not in the ratio. The clue is in the story, in the problem sums. If Beatrice gives to Amy, there's only internal transfer, then the total is the same. If they both spend the same amount or they both earn the same amount, then it is difference unchanged. If it is either Amy or Beatrice unchanged, then it is single subject unchanged. Alright, so in order to make 5 and 7 the same, alright, I'm going to change it to 35. Sometimes I have no space. I forgot to give myself some space, so I will write it on the right hand side. Okay, so 5 and 7, lowest common multiple, multiple is 35 times 7 times 7 times 7. 7. 28, 35. Here you have times 5, times 5, times 5. 15, 20, 35. Okay, so now that the total is made the same, it will now make sense. The ratio will make sense already. Okay, 7 units became 15 units is plus 8. 28 become 20 is minus 8. Makes sense because Beatrice gave Amy 48 stamps. So that means uh, the difference 15 units okay, 15 units minus 7 units is equals to 8 units. That 8 unit must be the 48 stamps Beatrice gives to Amy. So one unit must be 48 divided by 8, which is 6. Okay, so how many stamps do both of them have all together? The total is 35 units. Okay, so the answer is that.